Hey guys, this is Gabriel. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys a way that could help you fix this issue right here that says DLL file missing. Now, this is especially going to help you guys if you've downloaded GTA 5 and completed everything from the installation to extracting the files and everything. And right when you try to start the game, this is what pops up. I know it could be really frustrating guys but do not worry i have you covered on this one i'm going to show you guys a way that could help you fix this issue without having to reinstall the game so now without any further ado let me just get straight into it so the first thing that i want you guys to do is just go onto google and type the exact same thing that i'm typing so you're going to look for windows media feature pack and go on to the first link that you see so you're basically going to look for a version that's compatible for your computer. So just go on to installation instructions and then click on the link given below. So it's going to lead you to this page where you can find the correct version of the software for your device. So after you've done that, what I want you guys to do right now is just go on to settings and go into the search section and type about your PC. Now, once you're on this page, you can find what version your PC is running on and you can download the exact same file um, that's compatible for your device. So just make sure that you've um, noted it down. So as you guys just saw, I was running a 1803 on my PC, so I'm going to download that version. So just select the type of version that you want. And then... Um, Click on 64-bit download because if you have a 32-bit uh, operating system, you can click on that. But I, since I have a 64-bit, I'm going to click on 64. Now, once you click on that, you're going to see that it has already started downloading. Excuse me, guys. You got a call. So, like I said, it uh, you would see that it has already started downloading. So, you're going to have to wait for it to download. But I'm going to skip the video just so you guys don't have to watch the downloading screen. Now I'm going to be back after I complete the installation as well because it's extremely easy. All you have to do is just follow the instructions given on the screen and that's pretty much it. So after you've installed the software, it's going to ask you if you want to restart your PC and you're going to have to click on yes. All right, guys. So after you've done everything, just click on the game like you normally would and it should run without any problem. With that being said, guys, that was the video. I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you do, please don't forget to leave a like to this video. And if you guys have any problems, do not forget to leave it down in the comment section below i'm gonna be i'm gonna make sure to help you guys out with that being said thanks a lot for watching i'm gonna talk to you guys in the next one